Hey guys, it is Cheesy here, and today I am bringing you episode 4 of Fallout 4 Console Mods Weekly. I realize that I am uploading this late on Tuesday, and I usually upload this series on Mondays. And so I'm sorry guys, but basically I technically only finished school yesterday, and I was waiting for my new mic to arrive, and you may be able to tell through the audio quality. Because I wanted to rush this video out as soon as possible, it is kind of quick, but you guys will be seeing a lot more of me throughout this summer because I am finally on break and so I'll be able to make videos as much as I can and as much as I want to and hopefully I can upload maybe even daily but I'll have a channel update coming out soon as well as a little something for all the for thanking you guys for all the support that you guys have shown me. Getting into the video guys, I'll be showcasing the best mods this week on Xbox One. Hopefully this is the last Xbox exclusive week because PS4 mods are hopefully out soon and I'm actually in the process of making a PS4 console mods video. So without further ado guys, I will get straight into the mods. Our first mod this week is Apply Legendary Effects to Any Weapon by Banwolf. As in the title, this mod lets you apply any legendary to any weapon and particularly here I added a World Series logo to a super sledge to watch my targets go flying. This mod makes Fallout 4 a lot less challenging, but if you're okay with that, I definitely recommend that you try it out. My next mod this week is the NCR Veteran Ranger Armor by Unoctium. This mod has the one and only Veteran Ranger Armor of the New California Republic into Fallout 4, and while it's just aesthetic, the amount of detail into the textures are really well designed, and I think if someone could implement a quest mod with this mod, it could be really, really cool. My weapon mod this week is the Chinese Assault Rifle by Wasteland Melody. It has an exact replica of Fallout 3's gun and looks really nice. The gun handles very well and is fully customizable and also adds some new sight attachments into Fallout 4 as well. I'm not sure if this mod is better than any previous weapon mods I've showcased, but you should still try it out. My final mod of this week is Rockin' Red Rocket by Eleonora. This mod overhauls the interior and exterior of Red Rocket to the point where it is unrecognizable from the inside. The mod is so well detailed and every item is placed perfectly and it honestly it turns Red Rocket from a somewhat boring settlement in my opinion which I personally never used into an amazing player home that is perfect for every Fallout 4 player and earns my full endorsement. That is pretty much it for this video guys. I realized that it was pretty short but I did not want to be late on delivering as I already missed Monday and it's actually almost Wednesday. It is so late on Tuesday right now. And now that I am on summer I will do my very best to produce as much content as possible and I won't upload just for the sake of uploading because that leads to bad quality. But I'll do my best. I'll do my best. Uh, I'll, I'll do my best. <laughs> uh, but uh, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more Fallout 4 videos and to leave a like or drop a comment. Uh, once again, thank you guys for watching and to check and make sure to check out the mods in the description. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.